Okie dokie. Uh, right, this is just a very quick tutorial, just in case anyone out there is trying to do what I've been trying to do for a long time, which is um, extract some of the Far Cry 1 um, files so that you can get 3D models for 3D printing or other modeling work or anything like that. Basically, Crytek uh, and CryEngine, back when they made the first Far Cry, they stored all the 3D files as um, these CGF file types which are pretty difficult to read I think there's a few different programs out there which will try and convert them into 3ds max files um, but I couldn't find any success with those and this method is really quick and easy and it, it works perfectly for me um, so I'll provide a little link in the description for where you can download this CGF reader basically it just comes as a as a compressed folder and all I've done is just extract that into a little folder um, in in a in a folder I've called 3D, which is where I'm doing all the 3D modeling work. Um, you get a couple of folders, but the two important ones are this cgfreader.exe and this file config.ini. Um, so all you want to do is open up your Far Cry folder. I've made copies. I recommend maybe not directly manipulating the file straight from Far Cry 1. You don't want to inadvertently damage or delete something or alter one of the files so all I've done is just make a copy of all the Far Cry um, to the FC data folder so if you navigate to where your Far Cry game is going to FC data and you should see something a bit like this um, if you right click on one of these say objects.pack oh sorry and then you go 7-zip and you extract them here you'll extract them into an openable folder and this is where you're going to find all the 3D files um, so characters let's say mutants mutant aberration one of the trigens uh, and what you're after is this .cgf LOD is level of detail so these two are going to be lower quality models than just the original CGF so all you want to do is copy that across into the folder where you've extracted the um, where you've extracted the CGF reader, place that in there. Make sure that you copy the name up to the .cgf. Open this config.ini, and this will normally say open equals model.cgf. And all you want to do is paste the name of the file that you want to convert in there. Make sure you save it. You can close this. And all you want to do is double tap that cgfreader.exe and straight away it's going to convert this CGF into a file called model.wrl. If you're on Windows, you can just open it in 3D Viewer, which is completely free. And you've got a perfectly usable model of one of the Trigens here. And you can send this into Blender or 3ds Max and refine it further or do some work on it. Or you can send it straight to a 3D printer and start slicing and print it. Um, all you want to do is make sure after each after each time you convert it, you want to just rename it and call it something which is going to mean something to you. Mutant Aberration, because each time you convert a file, it's just going to call it model.wrl. So if you're converting multiple files, you have to do it one at a time. But let's say you did this Mutant Aberration, and then you went and got the, the Mutant Screwed. Each time you do that, it's just going to call it model.wrl. So just rename it to something so you, you can keep track of what you converted. Um, yeah, I hope that helps. Like I said, I'll provide a link in the description for this CGF reader. It just comes as a little um, compressed folder. All you've got to do is extract and just do exactly as I've done here. And you'll have 3D files from Far Cry 1. So you can do all the characters. These are all the mutants. You can do all the mercenaries, different types of mercenaries there. The, 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 the main characters here, Harlan Doyle, Krieger, that's uh, Richard Crow, Valerie. It will also let you do all the weapons. And all I've done in here is just make a little folder. These are the ones that I've extracted. Um, so, for example, where's the Arctic Warfare? This is the sniper rifle. It will even let you do models of, the, of some of the weapons. Um, that's the aberration I've done. Harlan Doyle. We all know Doyle if you're a Far Cry 1 fan. There he is. So they're not the highest um, level of detail models, but they're... I think a lot of them are actually really good for printing straight away. They print really well. Um, and you can always take it into something like Blender and increase the quality. But yeah, I hope that helps. Thanks, everyone.